Well, my name is Dr. Shinhar. Um, I'm a pediatric uh, ear, nose, and throat surgeon. Uh, I, uh, after finishing my residency, I uh, did a two-year fellowship in pediatric ENT at Children's Hospital of Michigan, uh, and um, that basically gave me uh, extra training in all uh, different aspects of ear, nose, and throat disease and abnormalities that are related to uh, children, and that's my expertise. Uh, and now in this office, uh, I um, treat all types of diseases of the ear, the throat, the nose, sinuses, airways, and um, sleep disorders that are associated with uh, children. Sleep apnea is one of the most common complaints that brings uh, parents with their kids to the doctors and one of the most common reasons for referral to the pediatric ENT surgeon. It's uh, also one of the uh, or the top uh, leading reason for performing uh, surgeries such as uh, tonsillectomies and adenoidectomies in children. In the past we used to do these surgery surgeries a lot for uh, recurrent infections but nowadays uh, that indication has kind of weaned off and we are more inclined to do the surgery for uh, reasons of obstructive sleep apnea or sleep disordered breathing in children. Well the common symptoms are basically very loud snoring. The child will snore like an adult and you can hear it uh, uh, outside the room down the hall. Uh, very restless sleep, he'll be all over the bed. Uh, in the more uh, clear-cut cases, there'll be apneic episodes, which means that you will hear him stop breathing for a few seconds and then start back up again, or a choking or a gasping sound. Uh, the sleep will be very disturbed. Child may wake up many times during the night, and then he's very tired to wake up in the morning, and a lot of the times, even an older child will need to take an extra nap during the day because he will be very tired. There can be also uh, behavioral issues, attention deficit issues, academic uh, problems at school, behavioral problems at school, and so on that are a result of fatigue from uh, a very disrupted sleep. Unlike in adults, a lot of these children are actually not obese but uh, skinny and that's because of burning so many calories at night just fighting to breathe and not getting the rest that they need. So uh, unlike the popular belief it doesn't really have to be an obese child but a lot of the times a very thin uh, sometimes on the verge of malnourished child. Usually we start seeing these patients uh, uh, from the age of two, two and a half years old and it peaks uh, uh, probably between the age of three and four and then um, uh, the uh, peak uh, kind of slopes down the age of six, seven. But sleep apnea can happen uh, at any age, it's just a matter of how vigilant the parents were and how quick they were to uh, get to the doctors.